I can feel the difference in power already. How fast? I love it. Hey guys, back on the engine here, and uh, just um, about halfway through the break-in period, and just ran out of gas because I didn't have a lot of gas in it, and I'm just kind of going through and checking some major fasteners just to make sure we didn't have any any uh, loosened fasteners or anything. So far, so good. Everything looks like it's in good shape. I'm doing it about half throttle, maybe a three-quarter throttle with no load on it and we're just going to run it for about three hours that's what the instructions recommend and that's you know it's just good practice generally when you got a new engine to run them in sit here and let it run on the bench for another hour hour and a half and then uh, i'll change oil see what the oil looks like see how much silver's in it and uh we'll put new oil in it and um tomorrow which will be a minute or so maybe to you hopefully we're going to uh take it out and uh put a load on it and can, we can compare it to another similar engine as well. fresh all right so here's our oils we got used obviously on the right and a little bit of fresh on the left just as a comparison you can see that there is some silver in there we've struck silver kind of what we expected maybe a little bit more than I expected but you know it's a new engine it's going to do that. That's why you do the break in process. And uh, hopefully, after its first 20 hours or so, most of this will go away. That's the next, the next interval is 20 hours of runtime. Stuff's kind of cool to play with. Pretty colors. No big chunks. That's a plus. So that's the Mud Skipper engine. That's the one that comes with the package from Mud Skipper. We're going to change the engines now. And uh, I'll get a closer look at both engines when we get home. They're very similar. One's a half horsepower more.
Amazon engine is on there. Yeah. We uh, take it out on the lake. We got paddles just in case. This dummy forgot to put oil on his motor before he brought it to the lake. Put some in it. Okay, we are back at the house after about a couple hours on the lake and the little engine did good on this. This is a mud skipper setup, long tail, yoke. Now, of course, on the lake, I didn't have a hand throttle, I had to use the regular throttle, so it's a little bit more precarious. But the original engine is a seven horsepower this is a seven and a half and this is coming back off of course because the other engine has electric start which is a lot easier on the lake 11 mile an hour with this with the original engine the seven horsepower and we got 12 maybe 13 with the other one it, 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 it did record 13 but it wasn't a steady 13 so we got a little maybe another mile per hour out of it uh, basically the same engine except for 10 cc's and half a horsepower and let me show you that other engine here just like that There it is. So now we got the original engine on. See, it's 210 cc, seven and seven horsepower. And this engine, electric start, is manufactured for Mud Skipper. They put their name on it. They bought it from Carol Stream. Yeah, for Mud Skipper. Yeah. By Carol Stream. And probably made by the same. Probably made by the same. 
company, although we know that this one has a pressed steel valve cover, so that's different. Everything is somewhat different. Somewhat, a little bit. The, uh, uses the same element though, doesn't it? Probably. So yeah, so we got um, a couple more mile an hour. Maybe, you know. It seemed that way. And, uh, but uh, he's going to stick with the electric start because I don't blame him. <laughs> Much easier <laughs> than trying to, this little three foot wide boat, than trying to pull a cord in it. Especially when you're pulling it sideways, you feel like you're going to fly over the side of the boat. Although yours pulls the opposite direction. Interesting. Your pull cord's in the opposite direction. It is. Yeah. Not that it makes any difference. You still got to pull one way or the other. This is the okay. So, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. And uh, we'll see you next time.